Hello and welcome to this Google Docs tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create animated slide banners just like this one right here. So the cool thing about this is that, um, well obviously anybody can do this. You don't have to be a web designer or, or an animator to do this. It's very very simple with Google Docs. Uh, it's also free. So if you have a small business, if you have a campaign you want to promote, or just an event, you can create these animated slides inside that are interactive. I could click on opening time, and then I can click on home here, or I can click on location, and then on contact. So it's extremely easy how to create this to promote any event, and I can also create an animated avatar like this with my face photo. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing is that where we have to create a slide, right? So how do we do this? So here I'm in my own Google Plus account. I'm going to show you how to do this. First thing is we need to go to Google Docs. And inside you're going to see something that's called your drive. So this stores all the files that you currently have inside your Google Docs. So I have mine inside. It's called Portland Farmers. Now if I would like to create one, I simply go to Create and then Presentation. And I can start from a blank slide. Now this is extremely easy because Google allows me to simply drag and drop assets to fill in my, um, you know, my presentation. So I can go to Change Background, choose Image for my background, and I'm going to go into my folder, and I have this background JPEG here, this wooden one, and I'm just going to upload this directly. And the cool thing about Google Docs is that it will apply this to, uh, it'll save this automatically. I don't have to be pressing Control S or anything all the time. And then I can drop in PNG files like this vegetable one that has an opacity. You'll see this right now. And I can start decorating my presentation. So I can do that, then if I have a logo, I can drop this in, just like that. And you start getting the idea of how I can uh, start customizing everything. Now, I, I did this already, and this is my presentation. So I'm going to show you how you can do this, and how you can create an animated avatar just like this one. Okay, so it's extremely easy, and it's very, very cool. Um, once you finish your presentation, um, you go into Crazy Talk Animator 2. But before I do that, I'd like to show you one more thing here. You see that we have the main page here. This is the landing page. This is slide 1. Then in slide 2, we have the opening time. And in slide 3, we have location. And slide 4, we have contact. So what I did is that in these text boxes, if you right-click and go to Link, I dropped in a link. So when, I, when people click on this one here for opening time, it'll link them to slide 2. And if they click on this one, it'll link them to slide three and then slide four. So this gives this creates sort of an interactive um, app, uh, uh, banner on this. So for example, here in Google, in my Google Plus, I can share this with anyone and I can maximize this. So if I if someone clicks on this and they want to know about the location, they click on that and they can see the map that you drop in. And then I I, I dropped in a, an additional one for home and this makes them return. Opening time home and contact. Now this is very cool because as I mentioned you don't have to be a web designer. Anybody can do this and it's, it's absolutely free and it's super easy to do. So once we finish with our presentation like that I want to create my character, my animated character. So for this I'm going to go into Crazy Talk Animator 2 and inside I'm going to open one of the pre-made bodies that we have. So I like this little chef body here. This is from, a, from a, an additional content pack called uh, Common Folks 2. And I want to drop in a face photo on this body. So I select it and I go to the character composer system on the upper right, upper left, I'm sorry, and then I drop in a face. How do I do this? I go up here and I click on Create Face. I don't want to save this one, so just no. And I have to look for that face that I saved before. So in the same folder, let me go in quickly, the same folder that I have everything in, I'm going to go inside and look for that face that I have, this face PNG, okay? And I'm going to open this. So with Crazy, it's extremely easy. Just drop in these facial points. Now I've covered this in several other tutorials and if you're familiar with Crazy Talk then you know all about this. You simply have to follow the illustrated guide on the right side here and drop in all these 
facial points where they should go. And I'm going to do this fairly quickly because I, I, I dropped these, these, uh, these points in already. So I'm going to open this pre-made character. So just fit it in like that. Let me show you this. I can move this around. Okay, the eyes need some correction. We can do that later on. And just like that, I have a new character. Now I have to fix the eyes, obviously, because I did this fairly quickly. Now I'm going to go back out and I'm going to control N here, command N, since I'm working on a Mac. And I'm going to go into my folder and open the character which I already fitted and it has the eyes properly set. Okay, so what else can we do? I would like to drop in a little hat. So if I have a PNG file of a little hat, I can directly drag and drop this into the, way, the main uh, window of Crazy Talk. I saved this before. So if I go into my props, I can find my hat. So I'll just drop that in and I could start playing around with this. Let's see, let me zoom in a bit. I'm gonna select my hat and I'm going to bring it forward just like that and enlarge it just to fit Major, Major, Mayor Johnson's head right about there. I think that looks okay, right? Yeah, that looks pretty nice. And then I'm gonna link this hat to his head. So I'm gonna click on link and to his head and we have it attached. Beautiful, okay. Now let's start animating. So the first thing I'd like to do is, um, hey, here, I want, I want to change the sprite of his hand. I want his hand to have, his right hand to have a thumbs up. So I'm gonna switch the sprite for this. So it's fairly easy, just select your character and we go into the sprite editor. And I'm gonna, and I have the hand selected here and you can see that I can choose from a wide variety of hands, okay? So these come automatically with my character and I want this thumbs up or this one actually. Let's see, what about that one? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I have a thumbs up for my hand. What about for animation? How do I do this? So in Crazy Talk, it's very simple. Everything that we do is run on the timeline. So I can open the timeline here and this little time scrub is what's dictating everything that happens. So if I do something there, I'm gonna set in a keyframe and I'm gonna show you how to do that just right now. So, for example, I'm going to go to time zero. I have my character selected and I'm going to play this. Let me change this from time to frames. I'm going to play this for about 10 or 16 frames. And I'm going to select my character and I'm going to go into the 2D motion key editor. And I'm going to select his head. Okay. And I'm going to rotate his head towards the right. What did we do right now? I just set in a keyframe. See that little dot, right? That dot there, that's a keyframe. So the original keyframe, he has his head upright and towards, and then the next one, he has his head where he moved. So if I play again and I, let me move this to the side and I rotate his head upright again, you'll see that we're gonna drop in another keyframe. So let's do this carefully, keyframe then I'm gonna move this here, then play. I'm gonna move him to the side. You'll see how another keyframe is gonna drop in as soon as I rotate this. You see that? And I'm gonna play, and I'm gonna bring his head forward again. So I dropped in all these keyframes. So if I play this black, right, left, right, left, and so forth. And I can do the same for his arm. I can move his arm, let me bring this all the way to the front, I can rotate his arm, hold up, hold up, control, command Z. I can rotate his arm and I can play around with the movements and I can also rotate his forearm. So that depending on how much of the animations you wanna create, this will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Now I did this already, so I'm gonna open my chef project where I have him moving his head and I have him uh, moving his Thumb, his animated thumb. So we're gonna play this back, and there we go. And that's extremely easy with Crazy Talk. Okay, perfect. So let's continue, let's, let's export this. So the last frame here is frame 82, just remember that there. And I will copy 
I'm going to quick capture this and export this as a PNG. Now with Crazy Talk, it's so easy to export this now because I don't have to spend lots of time in, um, you know, complicated export procedure. I just select both him and his hat and I go up here to render quick capture, right? And I want to export this as an animated GIF. I can do function F8 on a Mac or just F8 on a Windows PC. And in here, I will want to export the quality, do a transparency, the range, and then how many times I want this to loop. But right before I do that, I want to set in a black background color to my project. This is because I want a little black outline around my, my character. So Crazy Talk will basically sample when it does the cropping of the character, it'll sample an outline, a little edge around my character based on the background color. So that's why I drop in this black background. So we go to Quick Capture, Animated GIF. I'll leave the quality high, okay. Transparent, yes. Uh, frame rate, okay. So we're gonna start from frame one and we're gonna finish at frame 82, I think it was, right? The last one. Okay, and then looping options. I want this to loop forever. And it's as simple as quick capture to clipboard. So if you're using the Windows version, this will copy directly into your clipboard. If you're using the Mac version, then this is gonna copy to your desktop. And then you can quickly grab that GIF like that and bring it into your presentation. So if I open my Google presentation here, let me delete this one here. And I will drag and drop my animated GIF. No, not all of them, just one. Just like that, hold up, hold up. I don't want this to delete. I will uh, drag and drop this again. Hold up, maybe I need to close this one. There we go. So grab my GIF and drop this inside. And Google is going to add it now. There we go, nice. So I have my animated character. And if I click on present, you can see that now I have my character inside. Now, isn't this cool? Now it's very cool. Uh, one little trick I'd like to mention too, that with my character here, sometimes when I'm, when I'm dropping in these animated GIFs, um, Google, sometimes will not play the, anima the animated, uh, the, the animation. I don't know why, but it happened to me sometimes. But there is a workaround. What you can do is that if you have an external server, you can, you can uh, uh, upload your GIF onto that server and just drop in a URL link here. So what I did here is that I went to this website called imgur.com. Imgur is a free image uh, saving server per se. So I can drag my image from my desktop into Imgur here, and I have it saved on the Imgur server. And then I can copy this direct link, okay? And inside uh, Google Docs, it gives me an option where I can import an image. I can import one from my desktop, or I can add one by, by the URL. So I just copy, I paste that image URL from Imgur, and I click on OK, and now Google will be calling that um, file directly from the Imgur server. Okay, this is another workaround if it doesn't if it doesn't um, happen for you. Great. So we have our character, and that was really fast. Now, when I did the face fitting, I did this fairly quickly because I've done previous tutorials on doing this step. I, I forgot to mention this. You can go into Crazy Talk. I'm sorry, into YouTube, and you can search for Crazy Talk tutorials like this one here. Create talking characters from photos. Okay, and in this tutorial, I go through all the steps of dropping in all your facial points and also how to how to choose the virtual eyes and also the virtual teeth for your character. And at the end, obviously, you can have a lovely walking, talking face photo character with a crazy talk body. Great. So the last part here is how to share this. So it's extremely easy. I can go to share. And I can send this to anyone via an email. I can add this to Google Plus, just like we saw here. This is my Google Plus account for Reillusion. And we have, we posted this already. So it's extremely cool because um, this is live playing. So look at this. If I click on opening time, 
Okay, let me, let me go back. Opening time, and it'll go to the opening time. I can go to home, location, and obviously if I want to expand this, I can do so. And I can play around with every slide inside. So imagine what you can do, okay? If you want to promote an event, if you want to have a little campaign, or you want to sell a product, you can actually create an animated slide like this and either email it to everyone you could post it on your Google Plus account and people can watch this. If you have a Facebook account, you can do this too. I can go to Facebook here, but this is only going to drop in this link. Facebook, for some reason, does not um, sample, does not give me an image sample of that Google slide. You'll only get something like this. But it's okay because people can click on that and they will be able to see your presentation and you know click on present and see it live on their side. Okay? So great. Now the last thing I like to show you is that this also works on iOS devices. So this is extremely cool. If you have an iOS device, you can go into the iTunes store and you can download the Google Drive app. Likewise, if you have an Android phone, there is a Google Drive app. And what will, what will this do? Basically, <clears throat> this will give you access to that drive, the drive that I have here just like this one. And then people can click on that presentation and see that presentation, that animated slide banner, live on your iOS phone. So let me go in, let me find one right now and I'll show you what that looks like. So what you do is that in your iOS device, you open your Google Drive app and inside I can see the same menu that I had on my desktop version. So down here I can see my slide, Portland Farmers. So I open that and you can see the exact same presentation. So let me flip this over so we can see this horizontally. And I can play this. I can play this back. Make it this far out. And you can, you can see my animated GIF right inside. And I can interact with it. So if I click on the opening tab, I'll go into the slide too. And I can go back to home. And I can go into location. And just the same way as I, as I would be operating the desktop version, but I'm doing this on a mobile device. So again, this will work on an iOS or on an Android one. So it's actually very, very cool being able to create your own animated slides and sharing them on mobile devices too. Okay, great. So now you see how easy it is to create these animated slide banners for Google Docs. So we hope you enjoy this. We hope uh, you can use some of these uh, tools and, and tricks in your next uh, campaigns and event. There's a lot, of other, a lot of other tutorials that we're creating for keynote and PowerPoint presentations. So try to search for those too, okay? Great. That's all the time for now. Thank you.